Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we are going to go ahead and review a fragrance from the House of Creed. This fragrance has been on many of my top 10 lists, especially the summer list. We're talking about none other than Creed's Virgin Island Water. Now, this is the bottle and the presentation. So as you can see, sorry, having a little bit of a uh, light difficulty there. But it's Virgin Island Water. It's a very simple bottle, very simple uh, presentation. It's in line with the other Creed fragrance bottles, uh, which is very nice. I think it's done. I think it's done its point. Now it's available in a couple main sizes, and it's mainly the Creed prices. But the four of the 4.0, which is this one, is going to run you about three hundred and seventy dollars retail. Ah, hurts just saying it. And the 2.5 is going to run you about three hundred and five dollars retail and the prices kind of fluctuate from there but they're all in line with the creeds prices so if you look at one creed generally it's going to cost the same unless it's something like royal uh or spice and wood or uh royal oud or something like that where it's going to be a little bit higher but these are pretty much the standard prices for creed as of right now they change their prices sometimes so i don't know what you're going to get let's go ahead and get right into the notes of the fragrance now again released in the year 2007 so it's been out a while and get right into the notes the notes of the fragrance consist of, at our top, we've got lime, coconut, mandarin, and bergamot. For our mid, we have ginger, jasmine, hibiscus, and ylang ylang. And for our base, we have musk, sugarcane, and rum. So, sorry about that little bit of sniffly nose. I gotta say, this is a scent that, man, I absolutely love. And for those of you who don't know, I'm half Jamaican, half Jamaican, half Malawian. Uh, this just reminds me of Jamaica. I go back to Jamaica, I probably say about once every year, maybe once every two years, something like that. Usually fluctuates between the two, one every year and a half. But it always reminds me of Jamaica. And I grew up in a Jamaican household. So the sense that this reminds me of hibiscus. I, I still do drink hibiscus tea. Ginger, I still do drink ginger tea. Um, coconut, obviously I still eat coconut. Lime around the place. Rum, my favorite drink, rum, it, this fragrance speaks to me at the end of the day. The four main notes that you're going to get out of this scent is coconut, lime, rum, and ginger. The ginger adds in a little bit of spice too, but the coconut, lime, really give it that taste and that uh, the rum kind of gives it this rum-ish vibe um, or this boozy type of a vibe at times. At worst, some people I've heard say that it smells like suntan lotion, and I can kind of see that. I don't wear suntan lotion, so I can't really make that comparison. Uh, but to me, this just reminds me of home. It's very casual. Uh, it's a perfect summer scent that, you know, when it's really hot out, you can go ahead and whip this sucker out and you're wearing it and you're doing perfectly fine. This is, it just speaks to me. All of those notes really evoke those memories to me of, you know, Jamaican culture, and I just love it for that reason, and it does perfectly fine with it. It, it does absolutely fantastic, at least for me. Spray-wise, I go about five sprays. This is a great summer scent. Outside of the summer, unfortunately, I don't think it's really suited for the spring. So basically what I'm trying to say is, if you're in hot weather, Virgin Island Water is an awesome scent. However, if it's anything below, say, 80 degrees, I don't think Virgin Island Water really does the job and suits that. For a, for when you would actually wear it, this is a great casual scent. I don't think that it's a good work scent or a good dress up scent. I think that is personal. That's a perfect casual scent, whether you be in board shorts, whether you be in khakis, you know, with a little dress up, with a little dress shirt, uh, or like an open toe or an open button white shirt. That's the kind of vibe that this gives off and it does it extremely well. Age group, any age group, you can go ahead and pull this one off. And the performance for this one is about five to eight hours. And it's five to eight hours, but even after it's past its longevity, it still kind of lingers on your skin and remains with this coconutty rum vibe, which is absolutely fantastic. I absolutely love it. Compliment wise, this one, it it varies on compliments and it varies on compliments because of the fact that some people do think that it smells like suntan lotion and for that uh, they just think that you smell good but not necessarily like you know anything that really stands out to them would they actually smell it themselves uh, sorry about that stuff you know their comment is usually along the lines of wow that actually is it's pretty deep I like that smell and it really intrigues them foremost uh, but overall, you're going to smell good when you wear it, and that's uh, the overall goal with this one. 
So if I'm going to go ahead and give this fragrance a rating, I give it a rating a 9 out of 10. It does. I really wanted to give this one a 10 out of 10. It's just lacking certain qualities. To me, this is a 10 out of 10 in my book. This is one of my quintessential summer fragrances. This is one of the fragrances that gave me hope for citruses, basically. I had, you know, before I'd been collecting fragrances, I was one of those people who didn't, re who always liked dark scents because they couldn't find any light scents that really worked really well. And this is one of the fragrances that really changed my mind. The reason why I'm not giving it a perfect 10 out of 10 because at the end of the day, the price to me is still cringeworthy. It's still cringeworthy to me because there are some other alternatives to this one, like the Bath and Body Works one, that function semi, you know, semi similar to this one enough so that I would say, you know, for the cheaper version, cheaper option, go with that other one because three hundred and seventy dollars, it is a hefty price tag. It is quality though. The other stuff, I'm sorry, the other problem, versatility. Versatility is the other problem with this fragrance. Summer and the hot weather that and casual that's it unfortunately that's a versatility problem so i really want to give this a 10 out of 10 and i'm really giving it i'm bumping it up probably a point or two just because of the fact that i think this is such a fantastic fragrance but and and it lasts a good amount of time sorry i didn't get to the positives but it does last a good amount of time especially for a fresh fragrance so those are the positives for it which bump it up but i do admit that this score is a little bit inflated as, as far as being completely subjective goes but i'm still sticking with the 9 out of 10. i absolutely love it and, and that's that's what i'm sticking with all right so again let me know what your thoughts are on this fragrance leave a comment send a message do whatever you got to do thank you guys you guys take care of yourselves and have a great day